Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. Obviously, I already know what the question is because I got this sucker pulled out right now. <laughs> April, what's the question? All right, day 22, 30 days of questions. Okay, it is, my engine has no spark. Will cleaning the rust off the flywheel help? I have heard this so many times. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's ridiculous to me. It's... I know so many small engine mechanics, even other YouTube small engine mechanics out there agree with me 100% on this. I think this is total load of crap. I think that it's an old myth, an old wives tale or something like that. Will cleaning the rust on your flywheel actually give you spark when your engine doesn't have any spark? Is that going to fix your problem? All the years that I have been doing this, I fixed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of engines. And um, all the ones that have no spark, you clean the rust off the flywheel. It doesn't help anything. It doesn't all of a sudden magically give you spark. Now, you have to remember, <clears throat> in between the flywheel and your ignition module right here, uh, there's only a ten thousandths of an inch gap between those two. This, the thickness of a business card. It is so minor. So this flywheel can't possibly have any more than 10 thousandths of an inch of rust on there in between the, the flywheel magnet and that ignition module. You don't think a magnet can go through 10 thousandths of an inch of rust? You're mistaken. If you have a no spark issue on your engine, your problem is something else. It's not rust on the flywheel magnet. The only reason nowadays that I actually clean the rust off of a flywheel is if I'm setting the gap between the ignition module and the flywheel itself, 10 thousandths of an inch, then I want to get that rid of that rust just to get an accurate reading with my feeler gauge or business card. You don't want to have that on top of the rust. Then you have like a twice, you got twice as big probably. And I know that some of you are going to put comments down and say things like, oh, I've done that hundreds of times, Steve, and now I just cleaned the flywheel, and uh, now I have spark again. Well, um, go ahead and put those comments down if you want. I, go ahead, put any comments down you want. That's it. That's really, honestly, all I got to say about that. In 30 years of me doing this, I've never, ever one time cleaned the flywheel and magically had spark again. So that's it. I'm done with this question. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Uh, day 23 tomorrow, that's uh, about uh, ignition modules. So we'll move on to that. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you missed our previous days, um, please check underneath in the description and uh, or go back to our channel if you haven't. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss the upcoming videos. And uh, I think that's it for today. So Awesome. Steve and April out. <laughs>